just want to do a little quick video of this property. Pretty awesome. Uh, built in the early 1900s. Log cabin throughout. Nice hardwood floors. Look at this living room though. This living room is awesome. Feature of the fireplace. It's just pretty, pretty cool. Got some like handcrafted doors in here. Hardwood floor throughout. Really, really old painting, 1886. Overall, I, th I just think this property is awesome. Definitely unique in the way that, well, they really don't build them like this anymore. Most log cabins are just uh, logs on top of logs on top of logs. This you got a lot of a lot of chink in there and really builds up. Probably five to eight inches of chink for every log there is. Just adds awesome value. So t take a look at this uh, little chandelier they have. It's made of, made of sticks. I thought that was pretty cool. Don't know if they're using like grapevines or whatnot, but they did pretty well on it. Definitely adds to it. Furniture in here is pretty awesome as well. Like this this lamp. It's a pretty cool lamp. It gives a nice nice vibe to the place. And there's a another door. Got an oil furnace, brings up heat. No air conditioner. First bathroom. The claw foot tub. Needs to be refinished, but overall it's it's nice and old and good old cast iron. Just a standard vanity and toilet. You can see all your your uh, cast iron pipe too. I like the touch that they did to it. It looks like that's ABS though, right there. It goes into cast iron. This is what you would consider your master. Just a standard uh, queen bed. Maybe a double, that's probably a double actually. You'd probably fit a queen if you did it that way. All the wiring is kind of exposed. Just have insulation everywhere. Go check out the upstairs real quick. Then I'll take you guys outside just to see what it looks like. Coming upstairs you have two more bedrooms with a bathroom and like the Cape Cod type of style for the upstairs bedrooms nothing too fancy about them I'm figuring these are probably done later on it's just drywall but you do have the old electrical two-prong stuff Probably got a standard or a double there too. Cut a few of these trees. Have an amazing view of the landscape out there. There's a mountain back there, some farm land over there. You got tons of little cubby holes for all your storage. Storage there. Storage over here. The one thing I like about these houses is just have all types of unique areas. You got storage here. New windows at least throughout the house. Nice little 
cubby areas. I like I like the little cubby areas in the old houses. They had tons of storage. Same thing here. You cut some of this new growth, man, you'd have a great view. And I assume that's why this desk is here. Because you could sit down and just kind of love nature as you work. You know, pretty cool. Check out the bathroom up here as well. So it's just a standard bathroom. Nothing too fancy. A little small, but a little corner shower. Toilet and a sink, that's all you really need. Pretty unique uh, wallpaper, I would say. Just standard linoleum down there. Overall, this house is awesome. Go back down a little bit. They did decide to put in new appliances, which is awesome. Got some uh, probably quartz, I would say. Countertop, nice little deep sink. A little cloudy today, so don't have tons of lighting. But yeah, just look at it. I think I hear a baby deer in the woods. <laughs> this is a great feature too. So I don't think uh, this is original. I think this was added on later on. Cause you do have your porches that are sloped. And I think that's how it originally was. It was a porch slope for all the rainwater. You used to have a hot tub there. Still got the electrical for it. So if you're wondering what the price is, this one's currently uh, 449. It's got 16 acres, a little over 16, and it's a three bed, two bath. But the main reason I'm taking this video is just to show off some cool, unique properties. So you come down here, this is right below the porch. Nice little, I guess, I guess you could say sunroom area. Looks like these are just like doors that they bought a whole bunch of and then decided, you know what, we're just gonna turn them into stationary windows. Two hundred amp service. You got a mixture of new and old wiring in it. Uh, these are pretty cool. So you can pull down the latches and they open up. I thought that was a pretty awesome feature. And they all do it. Got some wood. Never recommend wood firewood being here because, well, wood brings termites. That's never good. So uh, we're gonna check out the exterior of the property real quick. And then I'm gonna show you one of my favorite features to the property. So this is the exterior. Looks pretty awesome from the outside, doesn't it? Here's some bullfrogs. background birds are chirping everywhere and the one thing about the property the roof is fairly new um, I'm not sure how old but they did say that it has been recently done pretty much woods surrounding the whole property And let's go to my favorite part of this property.
got huge plants everywhere. It's starting to rain. Huge trees, that's probably the biggest one I've seen on the property so far. You hear the bullfrogs? <laughs> They're going crazy. So this, this is my favorite part. Not only is it a pond, but it's a spring fed pond. So you have spring water that's filling this thing up year round. That's where the water's coming in. And if you look pretty closely, which I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see it or not, but there's a little area in the woods. Um, and then it has like a little pipe coming out of it. And that's where the water's coming from. It's up there, I'm not gonna go in there uh, because I went there a little bit ago and I got a couple ticks on me. Got them off of course, but. Yeah, so this is my favorite feature. I'd probably put a gazebo uh, right about here. And then just enjoy this. This is nice and peaceful. I mean, they got a little bench over there. Not too far from town. You're about three miles. But it's just secluded enough where you really don't have to worry about too much. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you want to see some more unique property video tours, let me know in the comments below. And, well, I'll, I'll keep my eye out on them, you know. Been doing real estate for well, five years now and loving it to the fullest extent and you know I'm not trying to sell these properties uh, to any of you but I just like to show what they are and how they are so anyways thanks for watching take care make sure you subscribe if you'd like to see more and I'll see you next time bye bye